Hello and welcome to another vlog. Man, what a year we had. You know, a lot actually happened to me this year. A lot of things happened. Well, I finally started my Let's Plays, and I gotta tell you, oh man, I had fun with those. Um, there was... <sighs> Sorry, a little sleepy still. There was me becoming a clan leader. I visited my biological mother over in Oregon. That was a lot of fun. Walking Dead series. There was so many games. Man, how many games have I beaten? Hold on, let me get my notebook. I, I actually do write down every game I... Oh, sorry. Every game I've beaten... I will list them all off. I will list off all the games I have beaten this year. Alright, let's see. Hmm. <sighs> Hey. On the 1st of January, on the 3rd of January, Singularity. 4th, Battlefield 3. The 6th, Assassin's Creed Revelations. The 9th, Hitman Blood Money. The 19th, Two Worlds 2. The 22nd, Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, the, uh, you know, the remake edition. 24th, Modern Warfare 3. Moving on to February, Rage on the 1st. That one, I remember, it took me a day to beat. Very short, despite being to toted as a high-class game. Yeah. I beat Castle Crashers with a friend on the 2nd. The Simpsons Arc I went to the Simpsons Arcade game on the 8th. The Kingdom of Amalar Reckoning on the 11th. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic on 16th. Gem Jade Empire from the Xbox on 19th. Oh, that was fun. Mind Jack on the 24th. And yes, I know it was a bad game. But you know what? I found it to be kind of so bad it was okay. Uh, Doom 2 on the Xbox Live on the 28th. Moving on to March. Prototype on the 3rd. Mass Effect 3 on the 8th. Oh boy, the Mass Effect, oh boy, Mass Effect 3, that ending, remember that, Can of Worms? What do I think of it now? I'm kind of neutral, I was okay with the ending. I actually was pretty okay. Alright, the Secret Service on the 9th, yeah, pretty bad game. Vikings Battle for Asgard on the 18th. Dante's Inferno on the 27th. A really bad game. Now let's move on to... Uh, January, February, March, April. Uh, now here I have played... I pretty much unlocked everything and got every achievement on the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Oh man, that was fun playing all those different Genesis games. Genesis's Genesi. Uh, Bayonetta on the 20th of April. Uh, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Yeah, I like Lego games. And The Walking Dead Episode 1 on the 29th. And damn, was that a good game. Okay. Uh, that was a pretty small bug. April, May. In May, Dead Rising 2, Case Zero, The Darkness on the 4th. Oh yeah, and, it, and Case Zero was on the 1st. The Darkness 2? The 5th! <laughs> Binary Domain on the, tw on the 13th. Vanquish on the 19th. Doom 3 from the Xbox on the 28th. 
I haven't played the remake yet. Uh, I gotta do that. I didn't even know they were gonna make a remake. Hell, I learned about that after I sent the game back from Gamefly. Uh, Legend of... Okay, back on... On June. <sighs> Man, I am tired. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe on the 6th. Not on the 6th, the 2nd. On the Super Mario World on the Game Boy on the 3rd. Tactics Ogre Night of Lotus on the 5th. Uh, Game Boy Advance. Fear on the 11th. Pokemon Conquest on the 24th. And I thought that was okay. And The Walking Dead Episode 2 on the 28th. Now here comes some of the bigger stuff I did in this month on the on July. Soul Blazer from the SNES. Fear Extraction Point and Perseus. Okay, on the second as well. Fear Perseus Mandate on the fifth. EV, EVO, The Search of Eden, Super Nintendo on the thirteenth. Sunset Riders, fifteenth. Contra Three Alien Wars, the seventeenth. Act Razor. 18. Resident Evil Raccoon City, 19. Super Adventure Island 2, 20th. Illusion of Gaia, 22nd. The Orange Box Half Life Episode 1 on the. Oh, not 1, or Episode 2 on the 28th. Uh, Metabots RPG, Meta B version, the not 20, 29th. On the. In August. Dragon Warriors 2, Kobe's Journey on the 1st, Dragon's Warriors 1, the 2nd, Front Mission on Super Nintendo, the 4th, Mega Man Battle Network 3, white version, the 6th, Splatterhouse, the 2010 version, the 9th, the Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, went through the campaign of a friend, also on the 9th. Fire Emblem and Sacred Stones on the 12th. And I beat that game of no one dying. You know how hard that is to go through a game of Fire Emblem without losing a member? It's nigh impossible. And I had to restart many battles many times before I got it right. Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, the 12th. Legend of Zelda, the BS Legend of Zelda, third quest. Now, okay, you're probably thinking... B.S. Legend of Zelda? Now you're just making it up. Not exactly. B.S. stands for Broadcast Satellite. You see, long story short, in Japan, they uh, experimented on the Super Famicom, or su basically their version of Super Nintendo, using a broadcast satellite so they can beam down games to us at certain points. This Legend of Zelda game is known as the Third Quest. Essentially, it's a remake of the first Legend of Zelda game, but with Super Nintendo graphics. And it was fun! I'm going to do that again. Fun! <laughs> but seriously, you would... It was really enjoyable. I mean, you can't... It's just an emulated one, and... It was still fun. Alright. Well, <sighs> then... Fire Emblem, okay, and that was on the 14th. Fire Emblem, the original one in Game Boy Advance. 17th, and I didn't lose anyone. Resident Evil 5 on the 18th. Mega Man Battle Network 6, Falzor Edition, 20th. Terranigma on the 21st. Dude, if you ever enjoy a Super Nintendo RPG, Terranigma is for you. This game, it's one of the best. Yeah. Alright. The Walking Dead. Okay, Resident Evil 4 on the 23rd. Resident... Okay, The Walking Dead Episode 3 on the 29th. Next, on the... Uh, on August, I started to slow down a bit. On the... Yeah, I really slowed down because there was only one game I bet that month, and that was Spec Ops The Line. Man, was that fun. Oh, 
<sighs> Next on the in September, Borderlands Two. Then the Bard's Tale. Okay, Borderlands Two on the third. Bard's Tale on the Xbox on the fourth. And then I on Medieval Total War, I completed a full campaign on the seventeenth. The Walking Dead episode four on the tenth. Uh huh. Then Age of Empires three, I complete the campaign on the twelfth. Medieval Total War, the American expansion pack, on the thirteenth. Same with the Crusades. I was really bored that day. Uh, Medieval Total War, Britannia, complete expansion. The expansion, I complete that campaign on the fourteenth. Uh, I beat, okay, and then we go on to November. I beat Faster Than Light on the 4th. Then, Super Mario Land 2, 6, the, the 6 Golden Corns on the 19th. And The Walking Dead Episode 5 on the 21st. And then Pokemon Black 2 on the DS on the 29th. In December this month, not really much to be honest. Um, well, I beat Fast and Light on the hardest difficulty on the third. Uh, I beat the Ender Dragon on the twenty on the nineteenth. You may recall me doing that with uh, <laughs> uh, my Tech Eight game. Yeah, nothing like like rending like a bunch of arrows right in the face to kill you. But I'd say the most important one was on the 27th, where me and a friend beat Halo 4 on Legendary together. Yeah, that's it. I had a really good year. <sighs> there was so many games I beat. Thank you, Gamefly. <clears throat> Man, a lot of stuff has happened. Some stuff I'm a bit upset about, like the Nostalgia Critic finally putting away his hat, tie, and suit. It, Nintendo Power finally stopped is stopping its publication. That's like one of my earlier childhood memories. I remember getting Nintendo Power when I was a kid. I don't even know who sent it. Not even my parents remember now. It was just, it came in the mail. They said it was for me. I read it, and I re still remember what the main article was. It was on how to race Chows in Super in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. <sighs> Man, I miss Nintendo. I'm, I'm going to miss you, Nintendo Power. I really am. Yeah, when you had Nintendo Power, you had the power. You had the touch. You had the power. Yeah. <sighs> well, son, I gotta say, this was quite a year for me. And I hope next year is just as good. You know... Also, one more thing. Why hasn't anybody asked me any questions? What, am I not good enough for your questions? Do I have to get... Do I have to jump off of a building to do that? To get some answers? To get some stuff? Do I have to fall into lava? Do I? Do I? Do I? Help? I can use some help here. I don't think I'm supposed to be floating. Uh, help me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Control yourself, brain. Control yourself. You don't want to float up into the ceiling and go into space again. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I got plenty of Let's Plays I want to do. So many games to play. I hope that you guys follow me to next year, and I hope your years is just as good. Until then, I'm Bren, and I will see you later.